Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at the Red Rock Baja Upper Replacement Grill in black with the LED lighting fitting 2021 and newer F-150s, excluding Raptor and Tremor models. You can bring a little bit of that aggressive off-road style to your F-150 with this Baja Replacement Grill from Red Rock. This is an easy way to change up the look of the front end and bring some additional lighting or a little bit of that Raptor flavor to your own truck, all for an affordable price tag. Styling is of course subjective, but I have to say I'm a fan of the latest gen F-150. But if you're looking for that little extra something, then this grill from Red Rock is going to appeal to you. It features this open honeycomb pattern, sort of reminiscent of Ford's own Raptor, or a truck that you might find pulling off jumps out in the desert. There are also these three LED lights at the top of the grill that add that signature off-road look to the front end rather easily, and they integrate with your daytime running lights for seamless functionality. Now this is a bolt-in replacement for your stock grill too, so you can put this right on without having to modify the truck itself. You even get a provision for the front camera in case your truck is so equipped. And if you're going for that blacked out theme, well, this is gonna look right at home on your truck as well, since it comes finished in this nice matte black right out of the box. Now this does also remove the front emblem, as you can see, but that just opens up the grill a little bit. So it gives you a little bit of additional airflow into the engine bay as well. You get some function to go along with your form too. Construction here is all high quality ABS plastic. So it is strong, it's lightweight, and it's durable. Now this black finish does come like this just right out of the box so it's ready to mount and since this is ABS plastic you do have the option to get it painted pretty easily. Now the LEDs are weather sealed against the elements so they should have a long lifespan too. And since this was designed using OEM CAD data from Ford themselves this is going to fit right in place of your stock grill just as your original would. And you've got all the clips and tabs and mounting points that you need to get this put right on. No need to modify anything on your truck. Coming in at about $250, this is pretty much the most affordable replacement grill on the market for these trucks. And with the inclusion of that LED lighting, there's no denying that this is a good value. Our customers seem to agree with that too, as this one is very highly rated on our site. So make sure you check out what they've got to say too, just in case you need that little extra push to buy. Installation gets a one out of three on our difficulty meter, and you should plan on spending about two hours to get this done. Definitely something a DIYer can handle at home and everything you need comes right in the box. Again, you've got that provision for the front facing camera if you have it and you get the wiring harness with the pigtails already ready to go in. You can just plug in those lights and you just gotta wire these guys in. So pretty easy to install, definitely something you can do at home. And to show you just what's involved, let's jump on over to the install bay right now. Tools required for this install include a ratchet, a clip remover tool, wire strippers and crimpers, a pair of scissors or diagonal cutters, an extension, a seven, eight, 10, and 14 millimeter socket, a male spade and T-taps, and a microfiber towel. What's up guys? Today we're installing a grill on our F-150, so let's get started. So our first step is to remove our lower trim. We have two seven millimeter bolts on each side, and then a bunch of clips that we can just pop out to remove it. So now coming to our driver's side fender well, we can remove our two seven millimeter bolts using a seven millimeter socket. And then we can do that same thing on the other side. So now with our bolts removed from both sides, we can pop out all of our clips and remove our lower trim. Next, we can come up top and remove all of our push clips that are holding in our radiator cover. And we're just using a clip remover tool just to pop all of these out.
And then once we have all of our clips removed, we can pop our radiator cover out of the way. Now, once we have our radiator cover removed, we can disconnect our three connectors here. This first one, we'll just press that black tab and pull up. Second one, we have a tab on this side. And then we can pinch these sides in to pop out our last connector. Next, we can remove these four bolts that hold our grill in up top. So we'll grab a 10 millimeter socket to pop these out. Now coming to the bottom outside of the grill, we have an eight millimeter bolt on each side that we need to remove. So we'll grab an eight millimeter socket to take this out. And then we can do that same thing on the other side. So now with all of our hardware removed, we can pull straight back on the grill to remove it. So now before we install our new grill, we're gonna have to remove our shutter assembly from our stock grill to transfer over. Now we have five push clips up top, as well as a bunch of push clips on our lower cover that we need to remove to get this out of the way. So we'll grab a clip remover tool and start popping out our push clips. And then we can pop out all of these clips on our lower cover. Next, we can remove our eight millimeter bolt in our center valley, as well as our four 10 millimeter bolts. We got two on each side. We'll grab an eight millimeter socket for our bolt in the middle. And then we'll switch over to our 10 millimeter socket for our four nuts. So now the last thing we need to do is pop out our clips along the bottom side of our grill and our whole shutter assembly will come out. So I'm just using that same clip remover tool. Just push our clip in, pop it out. So now the last thing we wanna do is pop out one of our headlights so that we can wire up our lights on our new grill into our daytime running lights. So we have two 10 millimeter bolts and a push clip up top, and then an eight millimeter bolt at the bottom that we need to remove, and we can pop this out of place. So first we'll remove our eight millimeter bolt at the bottom using an eight millimeter socket. So now coming up top, we'll grab a clip remover tool pop out our clip, and then we can grab our 10 millimeter socket for our two bolts. And now we have one more 10 millimeter nut on the bottom corner of our headlight that we have to remove. And now with all of our hardware removed, we can pull straight back on our headlight to pop it out of place. Now we're gonna be wiring up our new grill lights off of our daytime running lights. 
We already have T-taps installed onto these lines, so we'll be installing male spade connectors onto our wiring harness to plug into here. So now before we install our shutter assembly onto our new grill, we're gonna do our wiring first since that'll be underneath of our shutter assembly. So we have our harness, we're just gonna plug in our three connections and then on the other side, we're gonna crimp down a male spade connector onto our positive and negative wires. So now you can wire these up however you'd like. The way we're gonna do it is with a male spade connector and a T-tap. So you'll put the T-tap around your wire and then grab a pair of pliers, just crimp it down. And then our male spade's gonna come in through this hole in the back to make our connection. Now, like we mentioned before, we already have the T-taps installed onto our truck. So we just need to crimp our male spade connectors onto our positive and negative. So we'll slide it in and then we can get a wire crimper to crimp that on. So now we can take our wires, uh, we can twist up our lead and then we'll slide that into our male spade. And then we'll get a wire crimper to crimp that down. And then we'll do the same thing for our negative. So now with all of our connectors installed, now we can zip tie up our wires and run them out. Now we're gonna be wiring this into the driver's side headlight. You can wire it however you'd like. For our application, we're gonna be running it out the top here. So we can bunch up all of our excess. and then we can zip tie that up. And then you can use a pair of scissors or diagonal cutters just to chop off the excess of your zip tie. And now once we have our wiring finalized, we can install our shutter assembly. And then we can pop our clips into place across the bottom. Next, we can reinstall our lower cover. So we'll just pop in all of our clips. So now coming back to the top of our grill, we can reinstall our five push clips. So now we can install our clips onto both sides. We can just pop them on just like that. And then we can take our bolts that are included with our grill and start threading them into our U-clips. And now once we have our bolts hand tight, we can grab a 14 millimeter socket to tighten these down. And then we can do that same thing on the other side. Now before we install our grill, we're gonna pop our headlight out of place so that we can plug in our two connectors into our daytime running light. And then we can re-bolt our headlight into place and then we'll install our grill. Now we have two wires here for our daytime running light. We have a blue wire and a black wire. The blue is gonna be our positive, so we can plug our red wire into our blue. And then the black wires are negative, so we'll plug our black into there. And then we can just get some slack on our harness 
and slide our headlight back into place. And now we can come to the top of our headlight and first we'll put in our push clip and then we'll reinstall our two factory 10 millimeter bolts. And then we can grab our 10 millimeter socket to tighten these down. Next we can come to the bottom corner of our headlight and reinstall our 10 millimeter nut. And then we can grab that same 10 millimeter socket to tighten this down. And then finally, we can reinstall our eight, <clears throat> our eight millimeter bolt and tighten that down with an eight millimeter socket. So now we're ready to install our grill onto the truck. So we'll lift it up and pop it into place. Now just be mindful of your wiring harness so you don't pinch anything. Now we can reinstall our lower grill bolts on either side. It's gonna be that eight millimeter bolt. And then we'll tighten that down with our eight millimeter socket. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. So next we can plug back in our harness for our shutter assembly. Next we can reinstall our four bolts across our shutter assembly. And then we'll grab our 10 millimeter socket to tighten these down. Next, we can reinstall our radiator cover. We're gonna go underneath of this intake funnel. And then we can start reinstalling all of our push clips. Now finally, we can reinstall our lower trim piece and install our two seven millimeter bolts on each side. So now coming back to our wheel well, we can reinstall our two seven millimeter bolts. And then we'll grab a seven millimeter socket to tighten these down. And then we can do that same thing on the other side. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Red Rock Baja upper replacement grill with LED lighting in black for your 2021 and newer F-150s, excluding the Raptor and the Tremor. Thank you for watching, and for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.